Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, I'm Jamie Tyrrell with Group 1 Trading. Well, we were poised for another big down day this morning. Uh, everybody here on the CBOE was prepared for it. They granted us extra width on the open. They grant extra width whenever uh, the market looks like it's really going to be on fire and uh, lead market makers would be in danger opening their markets only 25 cent wide. So they gave us extra width on the open, triple width. Market was down 3% after GE had their earnings. Uh, they met expectations, but they cautioned about the future. Uh, uh, and we have just been rallying back all day long. Uh, we were down 3%. We are now up almost a percent on the S&P. And the VIX future has gone from 52 down to 49. Uh, so what looked to be a giant sell-off today really wasn't. Uh, any damage done this morning was recouped by noon today. Uh, and that's where we sit right now. It's been a fairly light trading day so far in the VIX. One trade we did have <clears throat> was an interesting trade involving two very far out of the money options. It was a, a risk reversal. We've talked about these. You get uh, the customer was looking for some downside protection, namely the April 25 put. And to get that protection, they sold the April 90 call. Now, uh, these are two very far apart options, 65 points apart. Uh, they paid 25 cents on the 25 call, uh, on the 25 put. They sold the 90 call for 35 cents. So they collected 10 cents, betting that if the VIX is going to make an extreme move, downside more likely than upside. Uh, that was the customer's bet. It traded 700 times in the crowd. Um, the crowd all filled it. Uh, but really, the most interesting thing to have in so far today was Barclays. Um, a representative from Barclays stopped by the pit to talk about their new uh, ETN that they're offering in the VIX. There's going to be two ETNs they're going to offer, one being a combination of VIX first and second month futures, uh, the second being a combination of VIX fourth, fifth, and sixth month futures. Uh, but these aren't going to be on a futures form. These will be traded on the New York Stock Exchange. So retail investors, uh, like many viewers out there, could just plug in these uh, the ticker symbols into uh, you know Option Monster or, or Trade Monster or any other uh, uh, quoting uh, device that you're using and buy and sell uh, synthetic VIX futures. Uh, so they're looking for a launch next Friday. Tickers are not quite finalized yet. We'll have more on this next week, but this is a, this is a move by Barclays to make the VIX future and VIX exposure more accessible to the retail community. Uh, Jamie Tyrrell, Option Monster. Check back for more.